Hi, Julian David here with Liquid Sonics. Today, I'm thrilled to introduce you to Cinematic Room's Professional Version 1.2, an update that unlocks even more creative potential for Liquid Sonics' best-in-class algorithmic reverb. Here's what's new. Version 1.2 adds new built-in dynamics processors for reverb compression, ducking, and gating. You can now set up gated reverbs at the same time as using a compression or ducking effect for an extra degree of creative control for more detailed and expressive reverbs. And it all works in multi-channel formats from stereo to 7.1.6. The update also includes minor fixes and native Apple Silicon support. And the cherry on top is that existing owners can enjoy these new features at no additional cost, making this flagship surround reverb for music and post-production even more powerful. Feedback to the introduction of Dynamics processors in 7th Heaven Professional and Illusion has been superb, so naturally Cinematic Room's professional owners have been eager to get in on the action. If you have a license for the standard edition of the plugin and like the look of these new capabilities, remember Liquid Sonics offers an upgrade to the professional edition for the difference in price in the store. Now let's have a closer look at the new features. You can find the two Dynamics processors in the new Dynamics tab, located in the center section of Cinematic Room's Professional. Ducking and compression are positioned on the left, the reverb gate on the right side of the GUI. Both modules can be used at the same time. When it comes to ducking and compression, there are six different modes that all have distinctive creative uses. We'll explore them in more detail in a moment. The controls are identical and probably familiar to you if you've ever used a compressor. What's different between the modes is the position of the compressor in the signal path and what signal it's reacting to on its sidechain. In the ducking and compression modes, the output signal is reduced when it rises above the threshold at a rate determined by the ratio. The knee controls how gradually that ratio is applied. Attack and release control how quickly the compression begins to act on the signal when it is above or below the threshold. Trim is a simple gain control for compensating the level lost by the ducking so you can correctly AB the effect. The gain reduction meter gives you a visual indication of how much compression is happening at a given moment. But what exactly can you do with the built-in ducking and compression module? Ducking is a powerful technique that helps prevent a reverb from swamping the dry signal by compressing the verb until a musical phrase has ended. The reverb simply floods in to fill the space rather than competing with the instrument itself, which improves clarity and intelligibility. Simply put, it's a great way to keep vocals and solo instruments up front, yet surrounded by beautiful reverb. The reverb ducker compresses only the late reverb and leaves the early reflections untouched, which produces a wonderful sense of space. You might know this simple but innovative concept from Liquid Sonics' Illusion and 7th Heaven Pro reverbs. Alternatively, you can choose to duck the entire wet mix by employing the second ducking mode in Cinematic Room's Professional. Let's have a quick listen to the ducking capabilities on a pop vocal. I'll start with the vocals and solo, sending them to the Bright Hall preset from Cinematic Room's Professional. Didn't wanna be left alone, angry, or crazy. Here it is in the track. The reverb sounds great, but it's definitely a bit overbearing and pushes the vocals too far back in the mix. So now I'll engage the reverb ducker and play with the threshold until I start seeing some gain reduction. The default ratio of 2.5 to 1 is actually a great starting point, unless you're looking for something really drastic. Didn't wanna be left alone, sounding angry or crazy, figured I'd be stuck on my own. What a nightmare you gave me. Next, I'll adjust the attack and release parameters to make sure the reverb ducking works perfectly with the ebb and flow of the music. Didn't wanna be left alone, sounding angry or crazy. Figured I'd be stuck on my own. What a nightmare you gave me. Let's hear that in the track. Make up some gain. And here's a quick before and after. Gave me. 
Compression, on the other hand, can be helpful to thicken a reverb, making it sound even more dense. Now, the compressor typically reacts to its own reverb output, rather than responding to the input signal on the sidechain. With the compressor and Cinematic Rooms Professional, you have the choice to either affect only the reflections, only the reverb, or the entire wet mix, giving you a plethora of sonic options. In addition, you can also compress the input signal before it hits the reverb algorithm. This mode is a great option to prevent the reverb from reacting too strongly to sudden peaks and transients, such as S's on a vocal. Let's audition some of the compressor modes on a guitar track. Once again, the compressor is bypassed first, and then I'll go through the different modes. The reflection compressor in this case gives me a very surreal sound, where the dead notes actually sound like they're further back in the room than the louder parts. I like the reverb compressor best in this example, because it preserves that natural sense of space from the early reflections, yet it also gives me that aggressiveness of the compressor clamping down on the reverb tail. Let's hear that again in the track. And bypass. And back in. We all know the iconic examples of gated reverbs on drums from classic 80s productions. But a reverb gate can generally be quite helpful to further keep the reins on a reverb tail in the mix. Located on the right side in the Dynamics tab, the reverb gate controls allow you to fine-tune the reverb response in a smooth and natural manner. When the reverberated signal falls below the gate's threshold, it is reduced in gain by the number of decibels specified by the range control. This reduction happens after the pause time determined by hold and takes the time to reach the level reduction determined by the close time. When the signal exceeds the threshold plus the optional hysteresis amount, the gate will reopen over the time period set by the open parameter. Let's explore this in action on some drums. I'm sending my snare drum and the toms to an instance of Cinematic Rooms Professional with the bright non-lin preset from the non-linear category. Here it is without the gate first. Now I'll engage the gate and adjust the parameters to taste to get that iconic gated reverb sound. When adjusting the time parameters of the gate, I like to pay attention to the tempo and the duration of musical notes. In this case, I'm going for an eighth note, or 263 milliseconds. Here it is in the track. Without the gate. And back on. Cinematic Rooms Professional version 1.2 is available now from the downloads page on liquidsonics.com. Simply download the updater and install the full plugin over the top of your existing installation. Although the standard edition does not include the Dynamics processors, it has been updated to version 1.2.0 as well, which includes some minor maintenance fixes and native Apple Silicon support. Following the addition of Chorus Modulation in Cinematic Rooms 1.1, 1 
Version 1.2 further enhances Liquid Sonics' flagship algorithmic reverb thanks to the valuable feedback from the professional community. Download the update now and harness the new creative potential on your next mix. Thank you for watching and happy mixing!